Welcome back to another pack opening with the Gaming Bulldog. Hope everybody's having a great day today. This is going to be our final pack opening for our first box of Theris Beyond Death. We've gone through 31 packs so far on the channel. Uh, we've got our final five here to go. Um, after this video and after these packs, I'm going to be trying to take these cards to the local card shop, see if I can get some value out of them, and see if I can get some more packs to open for you guys. So from here, we're going to start with pack number one. Our first pack is going to start with... Sleep of the Dead. We've got quite a few of those. Aspect of the Mana Core. Omen of the Sun. Scavenging Harpy. Moss Viper. Flicker of Fate. Thirst for Meaning. Funeral Rites. Eidolon of Philosophy. Dreadful Apathy. And our uncommons are going to start off with Renata Called to the Hunt. This demigod legendary enchantment creature has power equal to your devotion to green. And each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. Very nice. Next uncommon is going to be Agonizing Remorse. This sorcery targets opponent... <clears throat> and it, they reveal their hand. You choose a non-land card from it or a card from their graveyard. Exile that card. You lose one life. Minion return. This aura enchantment has flash and you can enchant a creature. When an enchanted creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Nice creature steal there. All right, our rare is Nightmare Shepherd. Demon enchantment creature with flying. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, creature, <coughs> sorry, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's 1-1 one, one, and it's a nightmare in addition to its other types. Very nice. Then we've got our forest and trash card. All right, pack number two. Our packs are dwindling down here. It's a little bittersweet. Um... But we'll definitely get some more packs here so that you guys can open them up with me. This pack's going to start with Sun Main Pegasus, Underworld Charger, Nylea's Forerunner, Funeral Rites, Eidolon of Philosophy, Dreadful Apathy. This uh, pack seems very familiar. Citizen Skirmisher, Aroa's Blessing, Farika's Libation. Our uncommons are going to start off with Furious Rise. This enchantment <coughs> has the ability that at the beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. Next uncommon is Underworld Dreams. This enchantment has the ability whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to that player. So punishing people for drawing. Next uncommon is Madomai's Prophecy. As this saga enters and after your draw step, add a lore counter, sacrifice after a four. At one, scry two. At two, choose a card name. At three. When you cast a spell with the chosen name for the first time this turn, draw two cards. And at four, look at the top card of each player's library. Our rare in this pack is going to be Timoret Calls the Dead. Timoret was a card from uh, the first time we visited Theros. Uh, it looked really cool. I may still have one in my binder. I'll have to go through and check. But as this saga enters and after your draw step, add a lower counter, sacrifice after three. At one and two, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then you may exile a creature or enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. At three, you gain X life and scry X, where X is the number of zombies you control. Our next card is a foil revoke existence. It's a common, um, but... 
a very useful card and still nice to see a foil. Then we have our swamp and our human soldier token. All right, on to the next one. Pack number three with two remaining. All right, we're gonna start this one off with Incendiary Oracle, Indomitable Will, Naiad of Hidden Coves, Discordant Piper, Gift of Strength, Scophos War Leader, Myers Grasp, Towering Wave Mystic, Daybreak Chimera, Elysian Carried In. Very nice looking card. Uh, we're going to start our uncommons here with Anax Hardened in the Forge. This is another of the demigods, this legendary enchantment creature. Anax's power is equal to your devotion to red. Whenever Anax or another non token creature you control dies, create a 1 1 Seder creature token with this creature can't block. If that creature had power 4 or greater, create two of those tokens instead. The next in common is a Devourer of Memory. We pulled another one of these in this box. This nightmare creature has whenever one or more cards are put into your graveyard from your library, Devourer of Memory gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Can't be blocked this turn. For one, a blue and a black, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Next uncommon is Cl Clothy's Design. This sorcery uh, has creatures you control get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is your devotion to green. Rare in this one is Gravebreaker's Lamia. Snake Lamia enchantment creature with lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Spells you cast from the graveyard cost one less to cast. Very nice. An island and a Seder token. Convenient that we got that Seder token in that pack. Alright, only two packs remaining from this box. Um, are these two going to hold our gold for this box or have we already seen our treasure? Uh, we're going to start with this one here, leaving this one for last. Let's see if we still got anything left in this box. We're going to start this one off with Sun Main Pegasus, Nyxborn Seaguard, Nyxborn Marauder, Aroa's Blessing, Funeral Rites, Dreadful Apathy. Eidolon of Philosophy, Voracious Typhon, Wings of Hubris, and your uncommon is going to start with Hero of the Nyxborn. This human soldier and enchantment creature has the ability of when it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one he white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Hero of the Nyxborn, creatures you control get plus one plus zero until end of turn. Red, white with a lot of tokens. Our next uncommon is Chainweb Arachnir. This is a spider creature with reach. When Chainweb Arachnir enters the battlefield, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature with flying and opponent controls. It also has an escape for three and two greens and exiling four other cards from your graveyard. When it escapes, it has three plus one plus one counters on it. Underworld Fires. The sorcery deals one damage to each creature and each planeswalker. If a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile it instead. Heliod's Intervention is going to be our rare in this pack. It's an instant with choose one of these abilities. You can destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments, or you can target player gains twice X life. Um, I'm sure you would want to target yourself, but there may be uses otherwise. And then we've got a foil of an uncommon with Hateful Eidolon. 
spirit enchantment creature with lifelink. Whenever an enchanted creature dies, draw a card for each aura you controlled that was attached to it. Very nice looking card. Mountain and a human soldier token. All right. This is the end of the box. Time for some last pack of magic magic. And see if we can pull something nice out of this final pack of the box. Starts off with a Riptide Turtle. It's a good sign, only because, uh, as mentioned in my earlier video, I really wanted to be a marine biologist growing up. I uh, love creatures from the ocean. I just enjoy looking at them. I like going to the aquarium, just watching them float around almost aimlessly. Um, also, water is interesting. Um, salt water, fresh water, mostly salt water because... There's so much about the ocean we don't understand, uh, including this Riptide Turtle. <laughs> Thrill of Possibility is going to be our next common. Nyxborn Corsair. Nyxborn Colossus. Soul Reaper of Mogus. Bronze Sword. Satyr's Cunning. Hero of the Pride. Chain of to Memory, Farika's Libation, and our last pack starts off the Uncommons with Grey Merchant of Asphodel. This is a zombie creature, and when Grey Merchant of Asphodel enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion to black. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. Very nice. Shoal Kraken. This Kraken creature has a constellation ability. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Blood Aspirant. Satyr Berserker creature. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a 1-1 counter on Blood Aspirant. For 1 and a red, you can tap this card and sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Blood Aspirant deals 1 damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Our rare is going to be the first Aroan Games. The Saga enters, and after your draw step, add a lore counter. Sacrifice that for four. At one, create a 1-1 one, one human soldier creature token. At two, put three 1-1 one, one counters on target creature you control. At three, if, you're, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw two cards. And at four, create a gold token. A forest... And a human soldier token. Uh, interested to see if maybe I can pull one of those gold tokens. I don't remember getting one of those yet in this box. But uh, if I were to use the first roll in games, I might need one of those. But that's going to do it for this box. Uh, as you can see here, we are out of packs. I do have the Theros Beyond Death bundle of 10 packs that I'm going to open probably in two separate videos. Just to kind of spread it out a little bit. Uh, but for now, I'm going to sort through these cards and see what I can take up to the card shop and get some more packs for you guys. Until next time, have a great day.